going on guys? It's Pritik Webb, Remax, it's a sunny day here in Bellingham, Washington. And today I want to talk to you guys about one of the basics in real estate and that is how properties are listed by real estate agents. I recently had somebody say, um, you know, well, this other, other person has this website that has uh, properties on it that, that uh, you know, you may not have and so I don't know, you know, what I'm going to do. And the thing that he did not understand and that some I recognize that a lot of people don't understand is that when a real estate agent lists a property, it goes in what's called the MLS. A real estate agent is required by law to list that property if they plan on marketing it in the MLS, the Multiple Listing Service, which is a cooperative place where all real estate agents list properties. This used to be just a huge thick book that real estate agents would get. But now, because of the internet, people can list those properties, agents can list those properties online. And what happens is all these properties get listed online and then different websites, including Remax.com, uh, MyBellinghamHomesForSale.net, uh, Trulia, Zillow, all these all websites pull data from the MLS. They pull the exact same data. The only difference between them is that the data is displayed in different ways. Like the Redfin site is really aesthetically pleasing, whereas some other site may, may not be. But it's all the same data. So it's important to recognize that when you see a real estate sign that says exclusively at the top, or someone says that their properties on their website are better, understand that they're all pulling data from the same place. They're all pulling data from the MLS and every single real estate agent has access to the same data. The difference may be with a real estate agent is we may have properties that are, haven't hit the market yet that we know about that we can tell buyers about. That's a completely different story. But if a property, if a real estate agent says that they have listings that are their marketing that are not listed in the MLS, that's illegal doesn't happen. Any property that's listed in one place is going to be listed everywhere. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, take care.